So this next session will focus on a number of the key national initiatives that have been undertaken and thankfully New South Wales uh, or those with New South Wales connections have been leading many of those. Um, our first speaker on uh, this next session is Dr Tony Sherborne, who many of you will know from his time as a senior health service executive within the New South Wales system. He subsequently went on to run the ACT in the South Australian uh, public health systems and uh, is now the acting CEO of the Independent Hospital Pricing Authority. So I'll hand over to Tony. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, great to see a lot of familiar faces. Um, I'll rattle through a quick presentation then um, be happy to take questions uh, either afterwards if there's time or during the panel later on. <clears throat> so I'm here um, representing the Independent Hospital Pricing Authority, which is an independent organisation, not necessarily the Commonwealth. I understand Mary finished with a list of issues to be sorted out with the Commonwealth, um, some of which I might be able to help with, but um, I'll, uh, not all of them, but I'll be happy to see how far we get today with some of those. Um, the Independent Hospital Pricing Authority is derived from the National Health Reform Agreement. Um, and I think you might have been through this this morning, but just for the sake of my revision, because I wasn't with you. Um, we worked through the agreement that was signed in August 2011. I get a lot of people who throw issues at me from the um, April 2010 or the 2008 agreement. But in fact, uh, keeping up with COAG's part of the game these days, um, COAG actually reached a a, a national health reform agreement in August 2011, which was signed by all first ministers, the prime minister, the premiers and the chief ministers. So that's the agreement we work to if you're looking for source documents on the web. Um, but activity-based funding, which is our key uh, role, has been a requirement of Commonwealth funding for hospitals since 2008. And uh, I was part of the negotiating team on the South Australian side that established the 2008 agreement and it was uh, activity-based funding uh, development was funded in that agreement and states received money and when I was in South Australia we received $16 million and we spent $16 million on developing ABF systems. So when states and territories come to me and say they don't have the IT systems or the policies or the framework to develop activity-based funding, I say, you do. Uh, it's been there since 2008. Um, I know because that's what I used to do. Um, and um, the 2011 agreement provides for uh, the establishment of the IPA as the independent source of pricing in the activity-based funding system. 